Hey guys, you're Floor Parks After Dark. We're here with Gatorland and we have a new friend to meet. Who do we got today? All right, right here we have Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Pepper is a Sudan plated lizard and he's honestly my favorite critter. He comes to almost every show I get to do just because, I mean, look at him. He's a handsome little fella. Yes, he is. Being in his name, well, he's come from Sudan in Africa where they are kind of living in more of the coastal foresty areas, kind of around rocks. With plated lizards, they get their name all from these plates called osteoderms that go down their body. And usually with animals that have osteoderms, even other plated lizards, they use these as armor, but not in the case of this species, but they are using them for protection. So they live around rocks and those rocks are gonna be part of their protection. So there are some big things that wanna eat these little guys and they don't wanna get eaten. So what they're gonna do is try to hide in between the rocks. And then what they're gonna do is take a big old deep breath in, inflate up, which will get all of these plates stuck on the hard edges of the rock. Wow. So if a predator tries to pull them out, tries to yank them out, anything, he is stuck. But hopefully sooner than later, the predator will get disencouraged, run away. And this buddy's gonna be in the clear. He's gonna deflate and wiggle back out. Back out. But that doesn't mean he's not all bite himself. He does have some little teeth in there, which he doesn't want to show off. But I mean, hey, that means he's not stressed. So that's a good thing. What they're going to be eating is mainly insects, bugs, crickets, grubs, fun stuff like that. But they can also eat smaller mammals like rodents or even smaller lizards. They're a little bit of cannibals, aren't you, little buddy? <laughs> but he is going to be eating different plants flowers and other fruits and veggies as well but he is a little bit of a picky eater i can't make him eat stuff outside of his meats but quiet lizards are known for having a very kind of um shy nature usually if people keep them out thank you sergeant pepper that's pee on my hand uh, <laughs> ooh, that's luck. poop on my hand as well <laughs> but people oh now you're climbing on me too he's having a day yeah I can't blame it. People say you got to work with animals. You have a fun time. All I do, it's just a lot of poop. While they're known for having a very timid nature, you may see he is comfortable with me. Maybe even a little bit too comfortable. Too comfortable. That's probably because uh, um, I have built trust with him. People usually look at reptiles and see them as a pet that is worth nothing. And while they may not show affection like a dog or cat will, I guess they show affection in other ways. <laughs> but besides that, their affection is going to be shown in trust. So Sergeant Pepper, he is very relaxed with me. He's very calm with me. And that's because I put the time and effort into showing him that I am not a threat. And even so, to the point, I'm shocked he's not climbing up there. He's always, he's only half doing it. Oh, there he goes. Oh, well, he's showing my thing. But occasionally some shows what I get is him climbing up right up here. But this is also a natural behavior for them. They like to be very high up in um, kind of the rocky area so they can look for potential food, look for potential threats. But for Sergeant Pepper here, he uses this just so he can pretend to be big. <laughs> but let's talk about his name. While he may not have a Lonely Hearts Club, he is the lone, uh, owner of a Lonely Hearts. But let's talk about how he gets his name. Besides from his peppery shape and the peppery color, it's gonna be that little red stripe there. He's colored like a pepper, he's shaped like a pepper. It's perfect. What that is right there is a sign of sexual dimorphism. A big old fancy word just to say that the boys and girls look different. And the purpose of that red stripe is to help attract potential mates. It's like us guys when we're about to go a night on the town, we put on a very nice fancy outfit and the girls will come to us and hopefully gloss over the fact we have no personality. <laughs> but for him, it's a hopefully gloss over the fact that he is very timid. But he still has plenty of years to go. He sadly has not found the love of his life. He's only eight years old. Funny enough, he's about to be nine here in a month. Wow. But he still has plenty of life ahead of him. They can live for about 15 to 20 years. So we still have much more Sergeant Pepper to come. Yeah. Broadly a source major for you. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Gatorland. You take care.